However grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of beard Pokemon and I. Have you been to the local Ikea? Did you did you see the Norwegian chair? All right. Fortree City. Right about to challenge Fortree Gym, finally. Last time I found an Ikea store in Eastern Fortree. But luckily we didn't get lost in there too long. Almost bought a chair. That's all. But I resisted. They have an Ikea in Fortree where they sell furnishings for secret bases. It's really just a distraction for trainers who should be going straight to the gym. They've changed it. I can tell right away they've changed the layout. Another changed gym. Winona. She probably owns that Ikea. Or she's probably got stock in it, at least. Stock's in it. And also waiting for Ikea customers. She's like, she's like Watson, but instead of a game corner here linked to the gem, there's a Ikea. There's an Ikea. That's the closest thing they have to a game corner. Brings in lots of people, makes lots of money. I didn't check what Pokemon I have in the lead. Hopefully it's nothing I shouldn't have out. This guy is creepy. And he needs to be taken care of. Humberto. Never heard that name before. I totally forgot there was someone named Humberto in this game. Unless he's new for Emerald. Hey look! I just happen to have the one Pokemon that can melt a Skarmory. Well, perfect. Go ahead and proceed with that. I'm not sure how this gym will go. Flying types. Two of my Pokemon are grass, so... You know. I'm slightly at a disadvantage. But my Pokemon team has become larger. Now I have three other Pokemon I can rely on, so that's good. Also, oh, don't worry, that's just a you problem. Not everybody's as creepy as you, Humberto. Um, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking about strategies that are possible, and I realized I found Ice Beam. I found Ice Beam. The TM Ice Beam in a... An abandoned ship, and I also have Thunderbolt. I just want to see if anybody can learn these. No Thunderbolt. But I'm pretty sure Pelipper could learn Ice Beam. So, Sinfin could too. So I have an option there. If I want to totally wreck Winona. Might make it too easy. Shockwave, I think I got that from Watson. Helican can learn Shockwave? That's crazy. An electric Pelican? I'm not sure it would be worth it. Ice Beam is more powerful. Double battle here, I think. Let's, uh, let's put Sinfin out.
She may have taught you, but were you a good student? Isn't there an actual trader class that's a student? You're just a picnic girl. You're just a picnic girl. All you know how to do is picnic. You don't know how to learn things and be good at Pokemon battles. I'll show you. Hmm. Hmm. What to do? Let's poison tail one of these and crunch one of these. My Pokemon team is getting so badass. Look at this. Look at my. Look at my awesome snake and shark I have out right now. They just look badass. And what do you have? A Swablu? Tropius is more cool, I guess. Super effective. That's lucky. I'm thinking... I'm thinking maybe I don't have to teach Ice Beam to Helican. I kind of have the feeling I'll be fine in this gym. But it's something I could consider for the future. If I want to truly unleash Helican's power, you know. It's just a little overkill at this point, perhaps. It's been doing so well. Helican and Sedistic, those two are my strongest. The two I've had longest. Another Skarmory. Melt it down. Melt it down into liquid metal that can be used to make other things out of metal. Singing to a shark. I wouldn't try singing to a shark. It would just bite your face off, probably. Sinfin was just tired. That's the only reason that worked. It's just tired because it hasn't had any... It hasn't been able to swim around in any water for a long time. It's had to just flop around on land every time it wants to attack something. It's really kind of exhausting for a water Pokemon to not have water to just support its body and, you know, let it swim easily. Realistically, realistically, they wouldn't just float in midair, you know, like they do in Stadium. Your name is Sinfin, not Sleepy Finn. So wake up. Still sleeping. Jeez, they have a lot of Swablu. Wake up now? Jeez! Are you narcoleptic, Sinfin? What have you been doing? Why are you so tired? A oh, critical hit by a Swablu. We're so afraid. We're so afraid of your little... Your little cloud-winged parakeet. Your little parakeet with clouds for wings. Your little toy bird finally wakes up. Wake up and crunch that Swablu. Crunchable birds is. Crunchable birds is just like Golem Lakes.
Oh, really? Are you sure they don't have to live in fear of Winona? And her monopoly over furniture sales in this town? I bet they fear that. She has power, like most gym leaders do, I'm sure. Damn it! Solve this puzzle, come on. This is kind of like the ultimate gym puzzle to just make you feel like a total moron. Uh, why can't I get through the bars, you know? Another double battle? Another picnicker or a camper? If they're male, they're campers. Swallow? I don't think I have a single move that's super effective against flying types yet. But my Pokemon are becoming so strong, I just don't think it matters. I think we can just start to steamroll things. Look at that crunch. Look at that poison tail. Big Snake is going to feast on your swallow. It's using flamethrower to roast it right now. You didn't recall it, it's eating it. Try attack. Holy shit. Now that's actually a pretty dangerous move. It's pretty strong. Pretty strong normal move, and I think it can... It's got a 20% chance of inflicting one of three random status ailments. Kind of a weird move. He's got a... He's got a psychic. That's no problem. More crunchable birds is this one even more crunchable because it's psychic. <laughs> yes, crunchable birds. Is. Oh, you could have finished Sinfin and you didn't. What a fool. Pretty sure Sharpedo doesn't actually learn a single water move. Which is why I'll probably be giving it uh, one or two HM water moves. Which will be useful on the field, in the seas, as I'm traversing around Hoen's waterways, you know. You have a Pelipper. I think we might be able to take care of it quickly. It's probably slower than us. Yeah. That's right. Too much of a load. Blush. There are just a bunch of creeps here. Do there have to be creeps in a gym just because the leader is female? Come on. Come on. Like, why isn't there a trainer blushing over Watson? You know? So stereotypical. Someone out there has to appreciate Watson. Not saying it's me, but, you know, someone out there. Uh, 
Ähm. Do I have a super potion I could use easily real quick? Don't want to trek back to a Pokemon Center. Keep up the pace. Non-stop battle action. You can, you can buy more super potions later. I know that. I'm experienced. I've been through lots of Pokemon games. I've seen normal flying types, I've seen steel flying types, water flying types. All sorts of flying types. Dark flying types, Murkrow. I like Murkrow. Ah, uh, perfect matchup. Go ahead and poison tail. Grass flying types too. I believe the first grass flying type came in Gen 2. I think that was Hoppip. Which evolves to Jump Bluff. I never trained one of those, ever. Very nice. Darius, I destroyed your Tropius. All business, huh? Just like she's all about the furniture business. I see how it is. Winona's got a furniture business in Fortree. It's basically basically an IKEA. Damn it! Oh no! Fuck! I've been bamboozled. I've been bamboozled by your deceiving, your deceptive. Your deceptive, stupid little rotating bars, Winona. What do I do? This way? This way? This way? No. I'll get this. I'll get this. Do this. No. Do this. I think I have this. No! <laughs> yes! There we go. Wow. Already here. That was quick. Did they shrink the gem? Winona, did you shrink the gem? Did you downsize your gem so you could expand the Ikea in Eastern Fortree? This gem feels about half the size it was in Sapphire. And I don't think there was a big furniture store in Portree and Sapphire. Not that I remember. Let's just go heal to Pokemon Center. Well, interesting. Weren't that many gym trainers. Only like five or so. Five or six, feels like. Didn't have to wait long. To get to Winona. I might get get a few more super potions. Could be good. Just in case this battle goes ill. Let's grab a few. Super potions are so useful, because they restore 50 HP. The problem with hyper potions is they restore 200 HP. So you go from one that goes one that does 50 to 200, and how many Pokemon have 200 HP this early in the game? None, basically. They should have a healing item, an intermediate potion that's not super, not hyper, in between, that restores like 100 HP. Why don't they have that?
sell the zinc. And I think we're ready. So, I already have HMO2 fly. Only thing standing in the way of transforming a helicon into a full, fully functional Cessna with floats is this gem's badge. Just gotta defeat Winona, then I can do that. Teach it fly. And I know exactly where I'm gonna fly when this is over. You'll see. I've mentioned it before. Very important errand. We are out of an important thing that we need to get. We must have more of. I can do this fast this time. Aha! I've figured out your traps, Winona. I've figured out your gym traps, and also your town's Ikea trap did not tempt me. I've made it to the one behind it all. Who should I lead with? Hmm. Bake Snake's got glare. I don't know if I'll want to use that on anybody. It's kind of a nice... Ace, ace in the hole to have. Let's start with our strongest non-grass type. Give him, give him hell, Helican. All right, here we are. I am Winona. I am the leader of the Far Tree Pokemon Gym. I have become one with the bird Pokemon, the beard Pokemon, and have stirred the skies with them. However grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of beard Pokemon and I. Have you been to the local Ikea? Did you, did you see the Norwegian chair? All right, Winona. Enough of your secret base furnishings nonsense. Go ahead and wash this swablu away. What the fuck? You dare mirror Helgen's surf back at it? That was very stupid and ineffective. And now she's gonna use a hyper potion. On a little Swablu. Was it worth it? Was it worth it, Winona? A Swablu, really? Surely you have something else that would have been more worth using a hyper potion on. Tropius. I have no problem with Tropius. Uh, Poison Tail. I think I was correct in my judgment that I didn't need Ice Beam. Sunny day. I guess it wants to use Solar Beam? Hang on. It probably has Chlorophyll. It probably has the ability Chlorophyll, I think. So, if it does, it just got faster. That that sunlight just doubled its speed. Still not worried, though. Aerial Ace, big deal. Poison Tail, bye. Going smoothly. Altaria. Flying Dragon. Flying Dragon. Hmm. In case she has a Skarmory, I want to save Big Snake. 
I won't be able to bake a skarmory. Let's go. Let's go Sinfin. Let's see if Sinfin can handle this thing. You've got three more. The sunlight doesn't phase Sinfin. Sinfin only sees a crunchable bird. Dragon Dance. Attack up. Speed up. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna keep crunching. Earthquake? Holy shit! I'm not... I'm not sure I ever experienced her using Earthquake on me ever before. I didn't know this thing had Earthquake. That was a surprise. That was a surprise I honestly didn't see coming. So you have Earthquake. That's dangerous. If I had Big Snake out, it would be a goner. Just keep crunching. If you can. Damn it. Her speed increase helped there. But... She would be helpless against Telekin. I probably should have switched Telekin in when she used Earthquake. Then it wouldn't have hit. No problem, though. Wing attack. Uh-oh. Fuck! Okay. I suspect she's going to heal her Alteria. Regardless of what she does, I want to heal Helican's Paralysis. No, no heal. Well. Not enough, Alteria. You came up short. Your Pelipper. Is that so? Mine just happens to be a little weak right now. But I don't care. I'll heal it up. I'm not gonna back down from someone else's Pelipper when I have a obviously an obviously superior Pelipper. That's just... I need to show them how it's done. And I think I might use a Hyper Potion here. Just so I can recover all that HP. Hmm. Protecting. Prepare to be schooled in Helican, uh, in, in Pelipper warfare. Prepare to be schooled. Your Pelipper's a poser. We're gonna take down this poser Pelipper. Oh, you're gonna confuse us? I don't care. Begin the war of wing attack. No Pelipper will ever, will ever best Telekin. This is the lord of all Pelipper. This is the ruler of all Pelipper in the world. Be protect. Protect yourself all you want. Critical hit. Take that. Didn't protect yourself from that critical hit. Skarmory. Perfect. Big snake. This is the last one, isn't it? Yeah. Winona was no big deal. This is already over. It's already over. saving that last hyper potion. But it won't save your chances. Your Pokemon are spent. Spent and... singed. 
And the wing attacked. Crunched. No big deal. Didn't need Ice Beam at all. Maybe once we get like to the Elite Four we'll consider something like that. <gasps> Just learning Poison Fang. This is a good move. This is a very good move. So, the only difference between these two moves, really, is that Poison Fang inflicts toxic poison. Like that kind of compounding, badly poisoning poison. Oh, but uh, Poison Tail also has a high critical hit ratio. Hmm. I actually didn't realize that. wonder how much higher it is. Still, though, Poison Fang is better. We want Poison Fang. The nice thing about Generation 3 is that by now, you know, uh, you can have those people who teach you moves your Pokemon already knows if you just give them the right item. Okay. So I can get that move back if I want. Never before have I seen a trainer command a Pokemon with more grace than I. In recognition of your prowess, I present to you this gym badge. Why don't you give me why don't you give me a coupon for the IKEA too? With the feather badge, all Pokemon up to level 70, even those received through trades, will obey your every command. You will also be able to use the HM fly outside the battle. And this this is a gift from me. Is that a gift card for the IKEA? No. I don't want TM40, just give me an IKEA gift card. Aerial Ace. I don't need that. Each speed, no Pokemon should be able to avoid it. Though I fail to you, I will remain devoted to bird Pokemon. You do that. But I'd I'd reconsider because I just destroyed you. Might want to have a different type, different type of Pokemon. I didn't even need anything super effective to fl uh, against flying types to just roll over her. Who is this? What? Ah, oh, Scott. Scott. Always surprising me. Hiya, Booga, it's me. Just as I thought, you won at Fortry Gym. Your strength. Perhaps you really are the trainer that I've been searching for. Remember, you have a fan in me. I'll be cheering from the sidelines. Keep up the great work. Whatever. Whatever, Scott. Well, let's go heal up Sinfin. Uh, also, let's go ahead and teach Fly to Helican. And now, now the game has really opened up. Pelican is a full-fledged seaplane, starting now. Full-fledged seaplane. It's got its floats, it's got its wings, it's ready to go. In fact, let's not even heal in this town. Let's fly to where my errand is. Lava Ridge. Go straight to Lava Ridge. 
I was just waiting to go back. So I had a quick way to do it. You don't want to have to go to the top of a volcano, top of a volcano manually a second time, you know. Where is it? Alright, here we go. Here's the dispensary. Here is where we needed to come back to. Alright, you got any new strains in? You still got the revival herb? Give me that shit. Give me like... Give me like... Three-eighths of that. Give me that shit. And... Heals all status problems. It's probably like an indica. 250. Again, the 50 and 200. Um... Give me this strain. I haven't tried this one before. Give me... No. Four. Four. That ought to do it. It's like a... Um, like a full heal, basically. We're good. I might be back. Basically, I'm a returning customer at this point. I have an account with them. That herb shop there. Dispensary. They call it an herb shop, but it's... It's a dispensary. Hmm. Can't go up that way. I was gonna go see the woman who sells the lava cookies up top there. See, this place is totally designed for people who visit the dispensary. They have the dispensary here, and then when you get the munchies, you go buy the lava cookies. From that woman um, who sells them where you get off at the cable car. Loppers figured it out. They figured out their... You know, where the money is. You can only go so far with tourism. You gotta have some other attractions like that. So they have a hot spring, and then they have a dispensary over there. Good. You know, um, I could go get the acrobike and hop up there real quick. Maybe I'll just switch real quick. Switching between bikes is very easy now that I can just fly to Marvel and do it anytime. I'm actually just slightly curious about what lava cookies do, because I don't think I've ever bought one. Ever. This is a good playthrough to have new experiences like that, since Emerald is new for me. Actually, took a long time to figure out how to use the acrobike. In fact, I only realized in my recent Sapphire playthrough, literally this year, that I could do this. Didn't realize I could hop around like this. It doesn't make sense physically how I'm doing this, really, but I can do it. Maybe the bike has a little motor. A little motor and a piston that acts like a pogo stick. Is that how you can... No, I can go higher. What was that? Same Pokemon. Every now and again I hear a wild Pokemon cry. And it unnerves me. Lava cookies. I'll try one. 200 ain't that expensive. I just realized I'm rich again. I have 80,000. That's how much I had to save up for a flamethrower. I didn't think I'd get this rich this quick. Again. Heals all status problems. Hmm. So these do the same thing, I guess. Can't have too many status healing items. 
can come in handy. Very nice. I'm actually going to do just one more thing. There's a spot on the route leading up to Fortree where I could use an acrobatic. I want to see what's over there. Once I see what's over there, then I'll move on. Damn Weather Institute. Ugh. Bad. I have bad memories and associations with the Weather Institute because of the abominations they created there. Where's the spot? I think the spot is right down here. Where I can cross. There we go. There's something in the lead. Maybe... Um... FC just took in the second spot. Acrobike. And then... Shit. I have to do this technique. That's another technique. Actually, that might be the technique I learned. I think I already figured out I could do this years ago, but, you know, this, this one is what I didn't know you could do. And for people wondering how you do this, I'm pressing laterally a lateral direction on the control pad and B at the same time. And then to do this trick on the acro bike, you just hold B. You just lift up your wheel and you do, you know, pop a wheelie. Acrobike tricks. These are the little acrobike, acrobike tutorial for people. There might be something else you can do, but I don't know. That's as much as I know. Is that all? Just calcium? Calcium and a bush that might have a hobo in it? Living in it? Okay. One more random little, one more random little detour I just thought of. That bush made me remember secret power. Made me remember the secret power cult that I uh, discovered resides in Slateport. At least one of their representatives down here. You. Will you, will you let me in now? He knows. He knows I have the secret power. I flashed the sign, now he sells me shit. Just a bunch of decorations. Musical mats that play notes when you step on them. That's so weird. That is such a weird niche thing to sell. They wouldn't even have this at Fortree Ikea. Alright. I just wanted to know. I'm just curious what he had. Nothing that good. Enough of this nonsense. I think I might be headed for uh, Mount Pyre in the near future. I remember Magma and Aqua went there. They're causing trouble. I have to go stop them, probably. I don't know what they're doing there, just, you know, causing some kind of trouble. I don't pay a lot of close attention to them since they're just two bizarre nature cults. They have strange beliefs. You can't pay attention to every Hoenn cult's beliefs, you know. There are too many. Too many weirdos, too many crazy people. I already fought her, that's right. Oh, an item there. Let's see. Let's see what that is. What? How dare you block me? I'm gonna have to teach this Kecleon a lesson. You 
you will pay. You will pay for impeding our progress. I don't take out every wild Pokemon, just the insolent ones. Just the insolent ones. It must be made clear that anybody who stands in Sedistic's way will not be tolerated. This Cacleon's literally standing in its way. Become the fighting type, see if we care. Get bullish eated. Ah, oh, damn it, that's so weak. Uh, oh, bullet seed. I've been relying on it so long. Five times? Who's a five time hit, though? That's pathetic. I think it's Fury Swipes are doing more than my Bullet Seed, and I outlevel it. Ugh. Stubborn Kecleon. Just be gone. Were you guarding a nest ball? Why would it guard a nest ball? Pokemon don't have use for Pokeballs. Maybe it was just being a bitter. Maybe it was just being an asshole. Just doing that to be mean. Well, we taught it a lesson. Looks like some double battles here. All right. My Pokemon team doesn't really have any any underleveled members now. Everybody can hold their own. Feeling good. No, you didn't. You think you camouflaged yourself. I was just being nice and letting you think you were hiding. Metatite and Ninkata. Weaklings. I have a dual dark types. And they are going to destroy you. Take down the Metatite. I'll bet an Incata would actually be crunchy. Exoskeleton. Sinfin crunched straight through it. Eventually I will come across a stronger grass type move, pretty sure. So I could replace Bullet Seed at some point, just not yet, because I don't have anything else. Mm, crunch. Sidfin uh, is pretty simple attack-wise. It has a rage as well as crunch, but I don't like using rage because I'm pretty sure after you use rage you can't do anything else. You just have to be in a rage forever, as long as the battle goes on. I like having control over my Pokemon at all times. See, Distic's worst enemy, Makuhita. 
Wright's got a personal grudge against Makuhita after after we dealt, you know, had that disaster with Brawly. Pretty good for a not very effective crunch. Two times? Why are you holding back, Sedistic? Whirlwind. That is such an annoying move. Either dragging out a Pokemon in a trainer battle or... Making you flee if it's a wild Pokemon. I don't like moves like Whirlwind and Roar. They're moves that just either end a wild battle or make you switch. It's just annoying. Like, nobody who plays Pokemon games likes using those moves. It's just an annoying thing the NPC trainers do. Maybe someone uses those moves, I don't know. I can tell they're handmade. Your cloaks suck. They all suck. None of them look like trees or any natural surroundings. Damn kids. Hey look, there's a little cave entrance right up there. Hey look, I just saw that. I have to investigate. I don't remember... Oh, I didn't fight you? What the fuck? I thought I fought him. No matter. See, just it is so powerful it can take down a wingle at this point with faint attack. Not too, no problem. If memory serves, what happened in Sapphire was, um, at this point in the game, I think I went to Lily Cove, the town on the eastern coast, and when I went to Lily Cove, I think I found a Team Aqua member who was guarding, oh, I have to surf from up there, he was guarding the entrance out of the harbor, entrance out of the bay into the wider waterways. So it basically keeps you from progressing. It keeps you from exploring the watery areas in Eastern Hoenn. I think until I take care of the situation at Mount Pyre, that'll be the case. I still might investigate to make sure it's the same in this game though. Scorched slab. Sunny day. That's right. Somebody had a TM in here. A little treasure. Could I fish here? I'm just curious. What kind of Pokemon would live in this little cave? Probably a Magikarp. It's just Magikarp everywhere. Nothing? Eh, one more try. One more try. Fine. Maybe there's nothing here. I kind of like to just sample the wild Pokemon in a new area sometimes. See what's there. Especially since the Pokemon in Emerald are a little different than Sapphire. For instance, I wouldn't have even been able to find my my uh, Nuzli for C dot in that game. Every Pokemon on my team so far 
is a Pokemon that I've wanted to use for years, but never did. Well, except Helican. <laughs> except Helican, I don't know what, what, what came over me when I chose to catch a Wingle. <laughs> and evolve it into a goofy Pelipper. But it's proving useful, so... And it's another first. Hmm, I didn't know I could go down... There's a little... There's a little hidden passage in the grass down there. They do have different types. I mean, two of them are redundant. I've got two water types and two grass types, but... They're good types to have more than one of. I've never been overly concerned about balancing my Pokemon teams for type. I have a little variety of type, just to make sure I don't have any glaring weaknesses on all my Pokemon that they all share. So I've got a decent number of dark types right now, but I've got other Pokemon that can handle fighting types, you know? Ugh, you have a cast form. The abomination from the weather, from the weather institute, they gave one to this person. I don't know what that Weather Institute is plotting by giving artificially created Pokemon that can create weather and have breasts to various trainers. I don't know why they're giving these things out, but I do not trust them. I do not trust them. You don't design a Pokemon to control the weather and to have boobs, and then just give them out like they're candy for free. You don't do that. What is this, you know? What is this operation? This is something I expect Team Rocket to be behind. Or some nefarious team. Villains. Criminals. Shady people do this thing. Things like this. Killed Sinfin, damn it. Put in Big Snake. I'd hoped I didn't have to ever come across Castworm again. I'd hoped that one episode where we saw Castworm was the only time we would have to see it. I don't... I just don't... I don't want Castform. You know, be gone. Better keep your distance. Don't make physical contact. It may paralyze you if it has static. Thunder? Used thunder on us? Holy shit. I think you would have had to use a TM to get a level 30 Pokemon to know thunder. No level 30 Pokemon learns thunder. It's like level 40 or higher. It's a level 40 or higher technique. Maybe even 50. Oh my gosh. I just remembered. I think Thunder has 100% accuracy in the rain. Fuck. How dare you? I should have put Wachtus in. Annoying Manetric. This is another Pokemon from Gen 3 I don't like the design of. Like, what is its head? What What is this cone-shaped thing on its head? It looks stupid. Your Manetric is stupid. That's why I didn't want one. Stupid. You know, I don't train stupid looking Pokemon. Pelipper isn't Pelipper isn't stupid. It's very smart looking. <laughs> Ignore my goofy water bird. Pelican Pokemon. There we go. Jeez. You don't expect to run across some random trainer who has thunder, but we're getting later in the game. What policy in action? 
I'm not a politician, I'm a trainer. You don't know. Maybe a parasol would f suit me. You don't know my life. Fuck off. <laughs> people, t people tell me whether a parasol would suit me or not. Don't, don't you assume? I'll decide that. I'm independent. How are you looking? A little rough. A little rough, but I think we can hang in there. Let's take this trainer down. That's... that's novice info. People who get their first gym badge or two already know about abilities, Jennifer. Oh, she has a cool Pokemon, though. I love Sableye. But... We will definitely be able to defeat it. Go ahead and delay all you want. See, just it gets happy, it's raining, it doesn't mind this taking longer. It gets to soak up some water as a grass type. Oh, you stall. Is your entire strategy just stalling? I think so. She realized victory was hopeless, so she's just being petty and trying to make the battle take as long as possible because she's better that she's going to lose. Yeah, yeah. You know you're going to lose. Stop delaying the inevitable. Your faint attack is weak. Full restore. Now, if you, if you were in a Pokemon battle and you're outnumbered one to five, and your Sableye is getting thrashed by a Nuzleaf, as a sensible, logical person, are you going to use your full restore to make the battle be stretched out and just waste that full restore, even though you know you're going to lose? Or should you fucking save your full restore? And admit defeat and stop wasting up both of our time. Both of ours time, you know? I really don't like cool trainers. I don't like how they think they're so cool for just healing with potions. Or full restores. You're obviously not thinking. If you thought about anything, Jennifer, you would have saved your full restore for a time when it could actually give you a chance. There was no chance there. You evaluated the situation incorrectly. You're a fool. I just brutally, verbally assault every trainer <laughs> we fight. I have nothing but criticisms. Booger's a very harsh trainer. It has to do with her upbringing. Norman was her father, so enough said, you know. <laughs> Having Norman as your father would give any kid issues. <laughs> Behavioral issues. <laughs> Ranger. A ranger with a low tad. Hmm. 
Hmm, but let's eat it. Damn it. Come on, give me more than two hits. Three hits. You could have done that in one turn if you just hit five times. Most of the time, Bolt Seed isn't worth the trouble if it's not super effective in finding. Uh, let's make this go a little faster. I wish Big Snake was alive. Kinda need to use a Pokemon Center. I want to go straight through this route if possible and just go right to Lily Cove, though. Absorb. Don't you have any better move than Absorb? Oh, you have a Nuzleaf, do ya? <laughs> I love pitting the same type of Pokemon against the same type of Pokemon when my opponent has one, because... It's just unacceptable to let someone copy me. They need to be taught a lesson. You dare use the same Pokemon as me? Allow me to show you why yours is inferior. See, just tolerates no usurpers. No challengers. It is dominant against all other grass types and all other Nuzleaf. One Nuzleaf to rule them all. Oh, you're gonna subject me to torment? See, that's going to subject you to death. So... Doesn't matter. Use your full restore, I don't care. Fucking cool trainer. It's so irritating. They just have to prove how cool they are by using some expensive healing item every time. Whatever. Take it down. See how you had no hope? See how your healing items are futile? Heal as many times as you want. Your HP will de get depleted. Doesn't matter. So I spent less time running and more time learning to not make stupid decisions. Like using a healing item when it's futile. I know there's a Kecleon over there, but I'm gonna just ignore that one. Lorenzo. He has a C dot. Good. See, just it can further build its reputation among its own kind as a brutal and cruel leader that is not to be challenged by any upstarts ever. Make an example of the C dot. That's how you do it. Critical hit. Other C dots will think twice before ever messing with the Snuzzleaf now. They're gonna see that one's corpse and... They'll know. See, just did that. And now, let's teach Nuzzleaf the same lesson. Are you gonna have... I wonder what he's gonna have third. I'm curious. Bake out. 
I used to have that move. You can't rely on it long term, though. Was that last trainer who used a healing item actually a ranger and not a cool trainer? Are rangers healing too? Is this another trainer class that goes on my blacklist? I'm watching you, ranger. Oh, nature power. Trip down memory lane of Sedistic's past techniques that it has already moved on from. There we go. Lomber. I'll take care of your lomber. Don't even change. Fake out again. The only thing you're faking out is your own impressions of your chances. Like you're giving yourself false hope by making this battle last longer than you should. You and your Pokemon should have all surrendered, just curled up into the fetal position and be bullet seated. It's hopeless for you all. See, just spares no, spares no one who challenges it. He just takes no prisoners. That's how you do it. Did your grass types learn which grass type in Hoenn is dominant? It's only this one. Only this nose leaf. Damn right. Maybe whacked us to second place. Oh, that's nice. He takes joy in traveling around and being destroyed by me. Got a nugget? Mighty Yana. Look at that. The wild Pokemon are getting stronger. Finding more evolved ones. I don't have time for this. Okay. Better jump down here. Finally got out of the rain. I like how the clouds can be seen rolling by, reflected in the water. Gen 3 Pokemon games had some really cool graphical improvements. Like, up until this point, this was the prettiest, you know, handheld Pokemon games ever looked by far. They hold up very nice. The original Hoenn games. I might avoid this trainer. I kind of want to avoid trainers until I get to the next town's Pokemon Center. And then I'll come back here. Come back here and be more thorough through here. Ah. This is a little different of an arrangement. A little harder to get by these guys. I did it. That male trainer there wasn't in Sapphire. It's Aqua. Okay, we're to move out to Vampire. Whatever. Just like they went 
Just like they didn't know what they were doing at the museum, they probably don't even know why they're going to Mount Pyre. So I can go down there and see what they're up to. And I can also fight a lot of trainers who are remaining through here. Jeez. But I'm close to Lily Cove. I think I can make it to Lily Cove before I do anything else, really. Ooh. Go by him. Ooh. It's always tense. It's always tense trying to walk by a trainer who just, you know, is patrolling, trying to snag some weak, exhausted trainer like me to beat just before I get to the Pokemon Center I need to rest at. You know what? This cobblestone on the roads in Lily Cove was not in Sapphire. That's nice. They paved this with, like, cobblestones. Check that out. Isn't that quaint? Cobblestones. I'll have to explore Lily Cove a little bit. What do you have to say? Stop moving. Be still. Be still. <laughs> Poker wants to speak with you. Fan club. A fan club with graffiti all over the sign. Okay. So there are delinquents. Delinquents in Lily Cove. Alright. Let's just go look over there. Uh... Oh, it's Brendan! Oh. Damn. Brendan. Look at him looking all dumb there. Standing in front of the store entrance, just blocking the way. He doesn't even think that somebody has to go in and out of the store. I hate people who do this. This irritates the shit out of me in real life. You just park your ass in front of a an, an entrance, a public building entrance, and you just act like it doesn't matter. Oh, oh nobody needs to go in the store. Nobody needs to come out of the store. I can just sit here all day because I'm Brendan and I'm a dumb dipshit. Strange man giving me berries. Is it all? Is it also because you treated this berry with something? Soaked it in some agent that's going to put me to sleep? I don't trust them. I don't trust them. Renovations. Yes, nature-loving team Alpha. They're a nature cult. They worship the water as an element. Aha, uh -huh. he's still here in this game. Just like in Sapphire, there's an Aqua guy here. Training Whalmer. Can you believe that? The least you could have done is trained Sharpedo. Something threatening. Whalmer. They're doing it wrong. They don't know how to be a criminal organization. You need to have a consistent image. You know? If you send out a Whalmer, people aren't going to think you're serious with your villainy. Okay. And... Just up here, there's the cave. Okay. I think I can't go anywhere in this cave yet. I think I gotta go to Mount Pyre. You garden it. What? What? What do you want with Team Aqua? Our boss isn't here. He's gone off to snatch something important. Where'd he go?
Mm hmm. Giving away their thoughts. You just did tell me. It's amazing how they all just follow Archie. Despite not knowing what the hell they're doing pretty much anywhere they go. We're in a museum now? Why? Who knows? Trust Archie. We're going to Mount Pyre? We're, go we're going to the top of vol a volcano? Who knows? Trust Archie. So, I already healed, didn't I? Yes. Oh, man. Where did the time go? I was having too much fun. Alright, I need to end this episode now. And at the start of the next one, I'm gonna deal with Brendan. Make him get the hell out of this entryway. And then go back go back west and um, make my way to Mount Pyre, probably. Save game. And pick up here next time.